Hey, welcome to this yoga class, Yin Yoga class. And in this yoga class, we will do a lot of heart openers, but also, of course, yoga deals with um, hip openers a lot. So first we'll lie down and really just try to connect with ourselves and rest. So lie down. Make yourself comfortable, stretch your body if you need it. Put your feet together, stretch out. Yawn and sigh, take your time. And then we will just come into Shavasana. With the palms facing up. Relax your arms away from your body. And so slowly, being aware of your spine, buttocks, and the back of your neck to elongate the spine. Shoulders are nicely resting on the floor. And breathe through the nose. Now we stay here to really just rest here. Feel your body, your belly rising and falling. And just generally scan your body. Feel your legs. First the major parts. Feel your arms. Feel your torso. and feel your head. And now smaller parts, feel your feet and just the toes. Ankles, the heels. your lower legs. Your knees. Your thighs. And your hips. feeling your lower back, your upper back, the whole spine, and then your front part, your abdomen, and then your shoulders your arms the hands slow, gentle breaths.
Now feeling the back of your head connecting with the floor. Feeling your forehead. Your face. Your mouth. Your nose. The eyes. your ears. Feeling the front of your neck, your throat and the back and then gradually go back down scanning your own body to your feet. Don't forget your arms and hands to scan them. Scanning down all the way to the tips of your toes. And when you reach the tips of your toes, scan back up again slowly without leaving out any Parts, all the way to the top of the head. And when you finished, go back down to your feet. Probably a little bit quicker this time. Very good. So now we're gonna start moving. So first we put the feet together and then arms overhead, stretch out. And release, take your elbows. We're gonna go into our first pose, Bananasana. Move your legs to the right and upper body to the right, into the banana and just relax here, breathe. Nice deep breaths here. I would say not deep breath, but gentle and belly breath. Try to relax all other muscles that you don't need to engage. Only the muscles you do need to engage should be engaged.
one minute remaining. Last inhalation and last exhalation. Move your upper body back and your legs and then bring your knees up to your chest and just gently hug your knees, rock from side to side. Breathe. And stay here for a bit. Just hugging your knees, a little counter pose. And then circle your knees together. Opposite way. And we're gonna go to the other side. So again, take your arms overhead, hug your elbows or hold the hands, and then take your legs to the left, upper body to the left and stay and breathe. Last one minute. Last inhalation and last exhalation. Start to move back with your upper body and then your knees and take your, your legs and take your knees up. Rock from side to side. And again, just hold it here for a moment. Beauty breath. 
breaths. And then circle the knees. Opposite. And then hands down, circling the knees in and out. And opposite way. And then slowly come and So we are going to come up into child's pose. So first sit up and come into child's pose. And we're gonna hold this for two minutes, actually three minutes. So you can change the arm positions in child's pose when you feel this is too much, but best if you can stay in this position. So child's pose, forehead down, arms back, and relax here. One minute. Last inhalation, last exhalation, and there is a pose called giraffe pose, which is very similar to the downward facing dog, but it's done with a much easier uh, way. So in here, your hands are wider, your feet are also quite wide, and you are not pushing your hips too much back, you're not engaging your hands and arms too much, just trying to hang there. So this is giraffe with wide feet and arms and just relax, hanging there. Three more breaths. Last one. Coming down, a little shake out of your hands. 
because we're gonna go back to downward facing dog. So in the yin classes, we always do a few uh, different young poses as well. So let's do a downward facing dog. So push your hips up and this time you are really stretching your spine, stretching your he uh, legs and arms. And breathe. Very good. And then slowly drop your knees down. And from here, we're going to go into Anahata Heart Melting Pose. So step your hands forward. We're going to stay three minutes in this pose. So let's do it slowly and gradually. Come down and hold here. Remember, knees under your hips, forehead down, sinking through the armpits, and relax. One minute remaining. Last inhalation, last exhalation. You're gonna push back into child's pose. This time, if you want, keep your hands in front under your forehead, little rest. sit up we're gonna sit on the toes for five breaths can't do it any longer so sitting on toes just sit up and five deep breaths here more. 
Very good. And then your ankle stretch. So first, tap your toes. And then sitting back, lift your knees. Ankle stretch and hold. Sit back on your heels. You can also lift your hands if that feels okay. And breathe. Stretch the ankles. Two more. And then release and sit back and windscreen wipers. We're going to go back to the uh, opening the chest. But first we do a little bit of hips. So white straddle, sitting up. And first just sit up, feel your hips. Breathe. And two more deep breaths here. Opening the chest with each inhale. One more. And then exhale, turn to the right side. And then coming down on the right leg. And we'll hold this for two minutes. So stay here. If you need to bend your knee, please do it. It's fine. But if you can hold without bending, that's also very beneficial. Last inhalation, last exhalation. So if you can stay down, that would be good. We're gonna go to side bend on the right side. So just bring your right arm down and side bend down on the right leg. Two minutes. So again, just go gradually. One minute remaining.
Last inhalation and last exhalation and coming in the middle. From here, straight into the middle and stay. Letting go. We stay here for three minutes all together in the middle. One minute, uh, sorry, two minutes remaining. Release any tension in the legs and hips. That is important in yin. And we try to relax the muscles. No muscle engagement as Minimum as you can. Last inhalation and last exhalation. You're gonna come up very, very slowly. Take your time. And windshield by person, you are ready. Very slowly. So, we're gonna go to the other side, but first just stretch your legs a little bit, shake out. Move your feet in circles. The other way. Move the toes. And then open your legs again wide and just get ready again, open the chest, inhale, turn to the left, exhale, inhale again, and with exhalation, come slowly down, and two minutes.
Relax the muscles in the thigh, around the knees, the hips. One minute. And last inhalation, last exhalation. If you can, stay down for the side bend and open the chest to the side, right arm overhead, two minutes here. One minute. And our last inhalation and last exhalation, slowly come up. And windscreen wipers. Very good. And we're gonna go up to giraffe again before we do our next pose. So come into this hanging there, not downward facing dog, we just hang there. Breathe. And then relax in the child's pose for one minute. You can choose your own child's pose, whichever variation you like, one minute.
and then we come up and take the bolster now to do our chest opener so we're gonna lie down on the bolster with the spine on top of the bolster and take uh, the two blocks if you want so one variation is with the legs stretched out lying back on the bolster starting from the hips so the lower back is also on the bolster and then you can have legs like this or you can have legs in the butterfly and then open the chest and relax here so we're gonna stay here for uh, at least three minutes but we'll see we might stay a bit longer make sure you are comfortable so when you are comfortable try not to move the body from there just let go and feel uh, your breath and when you need to come out of it, make sure you hold your head and help to lift up. So especially if we do it for more than three minutes, your neck will stretch back quite a lot and it will be just safer to lift your head up. We'll stay here for another two minutes. One
last inhalation and the last exhalation and make sure you lift your head with your hands and then slowly come up to sitting and shake out. Very good. And we're going to go into the shoelace position. So let's do with one leg on top, with the right leg on top. And sitting back, you can do half shoelace always. If right leg is on top, then left leg will be stretched. So if we are sitting here, first we just sit, we're gonna do with the eagle arm. So first just sit up, feel your hips and breathe. Let's have three more breaths here. And then bring your arms to the side. Right leg is on top, so right arm will be under. Eagle arm, hold for one minute. And with your exhalation, bend in your arms in the position, bend forward a little bit. And then release your hands, keep bending forward. Release your neck and head. Last exhalation, slowly come up. And with screen vipers. And stretch a little bit. Gonna do the other side, left leg on top. And then sitting back. First sit up, three breaths. And then arms to the side, left arm will be under in the eagle arm. And hold.
last inhalation and with exhalation bending forward and stay release your arms and stay down Last inhalation, last exhalation, coming up with the inhale, and release, windscreen wipers, and we're going to continue the windscreen wipers down to the floor, and then we're going to put the legs up on the sofa or chair when you are ready, okay, so... So first, as you lie down, continue your windscreen wipers a little bit, releasing any tension. And then legs up on the chair or sofa, like this, for the last five minutes, rest here. Two minutes remaining.
slowly, slowly move your fingers and toes. Move the head from side to side. And then slowly bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees, move down to the right or left. Then come and sit up. Yeah, the chant, inhale. Um. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you for coming to this class. And namaste.